Where the Teeth Go by Mel Rosenberg, illustrated by Rotem Omri. One day, when Montessori was playing in the park, right by the roundabout, his first tooth fell out. That very night, the tooth fairy came to bring him a special game. Suddenly, Monty awoke with a fright. He could hear a noise, so he turned on the light. The tooth fairy, who was very small, was stuck in a crack in his bedroom wall. Please free me, the tooth fairy said. I have so many homes to inspect, so many teeth to collect, so many gifts to bring to children large and small. Oh, how did I ever get stuck in this wall? Please help me down, and I promise you, I'll fly you all over town. I'm so sorry, said Montessori. I'll be happy to set you free, but in return, please do something for me. <laughs> Grant me three wishes, like in the story of the magic fishes. Certainly not three, said the Tooth Fairy. Maybe one, if it is something that can be done. Okay, Monty said. What I really want to know is what you do with our teeth. Where do they go? Where do you fly them to? I want you to take me there with you. Oh, that is something I could never do, said the Tooth Fairy. But Monty was as stubborn as a hungry kangaroo. So finally, she had to agree, or Monty might never set her free. It was the middle of the night. No one was in sight, so they rode a skycicle to the asteroid that looked like a chocolate kazoo. And then they waited for space bus number 22. It took them past the Milky Way, which was bright as day, then round Einstein's bend to the very end, till they reached the planet people call the farthest planet. This planet is our home, said the Tooth Fairy. During the day, we have the light of a billion stars, all the way from here to Mars. Our days are happy and bright, but at night, our planet turns to face the other way, and there's not a star in sight. So, to give our planet light, at night, we collect teeth from many girls and boys. We bring them money, games, and toys, and hang their teeth up very high all across our nighttime sky. The very best teeth are white as snow. Those are the ones that really glow. But when a tooth falls out and it's yellow or gray, we sometimes have to throw it away. So children, please keep your teeth shiny and white so they can make our darkness bright. Rain or shine at a quarter to nine, each morning and every night, eight fairies Brush each tooth eight times to keep each one so clean and white. Monty looked up to the skies. What a sight. A million teeth were shining bright in the middle of the night. Wow, said the Tooth Fairy. Tomorrow is almost now. So they took the shortcut home, flying past Mars and over the moon. And before you could say, how now, brown cow, Monty was back in his bed in his room. On the way, the Tooth Fairy gave Monty some little fairy cakes. Each bite makes you forget where you have been, anything you did or said before you went to bed. When Monty awoke the next morning, oh, he heard the alarm clock ring. He had flown to the stars, but what did he remember? Not a thing. Since then, every morning and night at a quarter to nine, Monty brushes his teeth eight times to the left and to the right, he keeps them very clean and white. Once in a while, he looks at the stars up there in the sky and smiles a big smile, but doesn't know why. To this very day, only you and I know where the teeth really go, and we won't tell anyone about the million teeth hanging high in the sky of the planet they call the farthest planet of them all.